Hello world. I wanted to do a video on solo travel, not on dogs, but look at this darling little blossom who I'm taking care of. Um, I, I've done a lot of solo travel videos, but I want to do another one because so many people ask me about it. So here's the thing. I think you should try it. Why? Because it's only through the experience of doing it that you figure out whether you're going to be able to want to do it in the future. I'm going to let this plane fly overhead, which is directly over my head. Um, <clears throat> like, I can tell you about it, but whether or not you like it is only going to be your decision. So, here's the reasons why you should do it. When you go with somebody, that experience is, uh, well, pick the person wisely. Like I just traveled with my son for two months and it was so much fun, but he's been to 50 countries. I've only been to 35, I gotta catch up. Um, so he's a particular kind of traveler and we mesh well. So if you're experienced um, or you go with somebody that's never traveled, you're gonna be taking care of that person a lot. So, uh, and that's not why I travel. I want to discover things and I want to explore and I don't want to feel like I've got to hold myself back because the other person wants to do a lot of stuff that I don't want to do or you might have different uh, budgets um, and you might have really different outlooks about who you're going to talk to on your trips and that kind of thing. So you should discuss that. Anyway, traveling solo is fun because you get to decide all of that on your own, where you stay, uh, how long you're in a city, um, the kind of place that you stay at, when you want to eat. Uh, there can be um, discrepancies with eating. So... You know, some people are really particular about what they'll eat. Um, I thought I was particular. But um, in a lot of countries, you can't get exactly what you want. Um, and sometimes you want to eat at midnight, and other times you want to eat at 6 in the morning. And it's all up to you. You can stay as long as you want. You can meet a lot of people traveling solo, um, staying in hostels, guest houses. You know, I, I've stayed in super fancy places that are $500 a night uh, before, 10 years ago. Um, and it was uh, luxurious and fun. But when you spend uh, $10 to $20 a night, more people, it's kind of more of this friendly atmosphere, like you meet more people because people in those kind of places usually want to talk to people. So uh, being alone, you're a lot more approachable. Now, safety, okay, fine. Um, you just have to get smart. Like on my first big trip, I decided I wasn't going to do any drinking because you just kind of lose all your inhibitions and you have to be on your game, man. Um, so be on your game. There's nothing wrong with that. You learn a lot about yourself. And I am really good company. So I don't ever feel like there's been about three times I got lonely. I mean, and then, you know, people are so connected. You can call on Skype. Skype was just coming into being 10 years ago. And now you can call people. You can be on FaceTime. I mean, there's a way to connect. So and then you can just like walk up to people that look like they're not scary and they might be friendly to you and where are you from? How did you pick this country to come to? I mean, a lot of times I like to be by myself um, and after this two month trip with um, Wolf, my son, I want to do uh, more travel with people I love. So um, I'm not looking for random people. <laughs> to travel with. A lot of times people that I don't know very well will ask me to travel with them and I don't know them enough to do something that intimate. Plus I do like traveling by myself um, and I you know get asked because um, I guess people think that I guess you don't really understand the, the concept of solo travel because like I just go. I just put my shoes on, buy my ticket, and go. I don't plan much either. I don't. I don't wait for anybody's okay on it, and haven't for years. So, 
It's not something I do. So anyway, um, freedom. There's a lot of freedom to it. And I want you to try it. If you feel called to do it, don't be afraid. Um, and it's not that much more expensive either. Um, you learn about different places to go that are affordable. And Central America, Asia, Southeast Asia. You can do it. So comments below if you think this would help somebody that wants to travel by themselves. Share subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.